What we do is uh, create audiences with four TV stations and their websites. That's what we do. And it's not who we are. Those issues are well known to New Mexicans, uh, but we face them and we report them accurately. And um, it would be fair to say that we do news that we wish we didn't have to do. And that has led us to uh, train our resources where our heart is, which is supporting Title I kids and their families. So the Title I schools are schools that are placed in areas of great need. They tend to be economically disadvantaged and they have a lot of struggles that, uh, that they're dealing with. It could be dysfunctions in the family, it could be dysfunctions in the community. That's not normally our role in the news business. We're not on a mission to fix systemic problems in the state. Um, the exception is with Kirky Cares. Kirky Cares, Kirky Cares. This is what Kirky Cares choose for kids. Uh, we wanted Kirky Cares to be the force for good that charities would align with us. The Assistance League actually has been in Albuquerque over 60 years at this point. Our volunteers are former teachers, principals, administrators. We knew that the needs for kids at that time, and this has been over eight years ago now, that KRQE approached us is immeasurable. We really want to make an impact, and we really want sponsors who have integrity and really want to do the work. Being a credit union, our underlying philosophy and tenet of doing business is people helping people. We are a financial co-op. It's, it's an honor for us to be a part of the program. Um, it's something the likes of which I have not seen before. That organization that Kirky Cares has figured out is, is a bit of secret sauce to really make this, I think, as effective as it is. Every single one of the students here today will walk away with a brand new pair of shoes. Going back to the first school we did, was uh, Mountain View, and we didn't have a clue what we were doing. We just thought, hey, we'll buy some shoes and we'll go out there and put them on kids. Uh, we worked and worked with KRQE to really begin to understand that perhaps we could do this in a better and more efficient way. That has evolved so that as we start our 60th school, we are extraordinarily efficient uh, we are focused and get things done quickly, but we still have an incredibly major impact on those kids during that short time that we're with them. I have lots of stories of going into schools and great memories of meeting so many children in our city. It's a wonderful morning. They get to get out of classroom and come and we have all kinds of different kinds of pairs of shoes that they can pick from. I think there's a couple elements to Kirky Cares and their work with the shoes that are really important to highlight. One is they include every child in the school. So every kid feels like they belong as part of this. It doesn't isolate anyone as being a certain type of child. And two, they spend some time with the children. Um, they actually put the shoes on the child and talk to them. And I think for the child, that's gotta be really meaningful. We have an absentee issue. Do you want to raise your hand because you feel confident that you look like everybody else, that you have the level playing field, uh, that your shoes, in fact, are just as good as anybody else's, that they're not hand-me-downs from mom or dad that are three sizes too big or held together by duct tape. This little girl said she wanted darker shoes. She didn't want anything with really bright colors or anything that popped. She didn't like pink or purple. And we couldn't really get it right the first couple of tries. And I think she was becoming a little bit discouraged. And at one point she looked at me and she said, I'm sorry for being so difficult. And it really, it broke my heart because um, they already, you know, are, are worried. Some of these kids, and we've said it before, have their shoes taped together. And this little girl thinks that she's bothering me by making me go back to find the perfect pair of shoes for her. Um, and I reassured her, I said, You're, we're gonna find you the, the, the pair of shoes that you want. We have heard through working with Title I at APS particularly, the importance of that 
relationship that you build in only 15 to 20 minutes. That child is so important to you, and that child needs to know that you care. You're going to make sure that you find the best pair of shoes that will fit them, that makes them happy and jump all over the gym, uh, and raising their hand during class so that they feel engaged with the educational process. There's a big need out there, and, and even when we do these, we, we'll show them on the news, we'll show, hey, we went to this school, and we'll get a, I'll get a ton of emails saying, hey, you know, my kid goes to this school, are you coming to this school? I think people get the idea that maybe Crooked Cares is only during the school year, because you see us in the schools putting shoes on kids, but it is year-round, and that's because the need is year-round. So another example with, with Crooked Cares is you do a food campaign and I believe that begins in June, and they put out barrels at Smith's uh, grocery stores, and people can donate non-perishables, which are really important because those go through our McKinney-Vento program, which means they're going directly into the hands of the students who, who really, really need it. But as you can see, the shelves are almost empty. That's why we're partnering with Smith's grocery stores. Look for Kirky Cares. Unfortunately, I mean, we've all seen the stats where New Mexico is at the bottom in education in the country. This is a great thing where Kirky Cares can step in and provide them those books so they can continue their education throughout the summer and, and, and keep their minds active. We are making sure that they're given a book at every one of these Book for Kids events and, and they're read a story in the park by one of us, which really keeps their mind engaged and literacy is, is just such a strong foundation. They need to have that in order to build a brighter future. APS Title I Storytime in the Park will have teachers reading to kids at parks throughout the summer. Once they read the book, they'll be given the book to take home along with other reading. News is very powerful and we really have the opportunity to impact communities in great immense ways. And one thing I'm always so thankful for and grateful for is taking part in these types of community programs because we have the power to really make a difference in our community. You know, this this uh, wonderful effort that we have of Kirky Cares is not just something that anybody can do alone. Uh, we have our wonderful nonprofit sponsors. We have so many organizations that, uh, again, make this possible with the help of our viewers. And our viewers are just generous beyond words. Kirky Cares is helping local kids through our Shoes for Kids program. The program helps kids in need get a new pair of shoes. You're taking a live look at our phone bank where volunteers are standing by waiting to hear from you. I am always blown away. We do the early evening newscasts and we're doing phone banks and phone banks seems like an old fashioned thing like it's not PayPal and it feels like, you know, we're really going to raise money this time. And every single time you get off the set, you say, hey, how we're doing? And the numbers always just, just blows you away. $10,000, $12,000, $15,000. You can't believe that in one evening, the community, and it's not us. This is, these are people in, in the metro. These are people all around the state calling in and saying, hey, I want to be part of this. I personally uh, would like to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you to your viewership who donates the money. And I'd like to say thank you to KRQE who provides the leadership and the guidance and the mechanism for this to happen. This, like I said, is a tremendous example of true commitment to a community. And I am just grateful. And for all the thousands of students you've helped, I want to thank you from those kids as well. So this is great. This is, you know, from one of the schools. And this is, uh, I think, one of the teachers. Thank you for all your support for our students at SRM. We greatly appreciate all you have done. Have a great week. This one has a pair of shoes on the thank you card and it says thank you with a smiley face. And it reads, dear sirs, I love my new shoes. My mom said, whose shoes are those? And I said, they're mine. The whole school got new shoes. She was very surprised. KRQE Shoes for Kids, thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is a gift I will always treasure. My heart just keeps saying thank you and thank you from Daisy. This is really the community, right? That has, we're just sort of the conduit for making this happen. We see the difference. We see the impact it makes on these children. 